Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Dragon Force. Alright, so we've got some awards to give out. We've got one for Arios. And you're gonna get more harpies, because why the hell not? And who else? We've got... I know Terris got one, but I was pretty sure there was someone in between here and there. But apparently not. I guess it was just Terris. Oh no, Scar. Scar gets ten more harpies. And... Terris gets... Ten more cavalry, because screw archers. At this point, I can probably switch her over to cavalry and not be too concerned. Especially now that she has another command skill. So we have Vlad, level 6, job, bloodsucker. Haha, <laughs> get it? Uh, he has 50... 50 zombies? That's a lot. That's, that's, yeah, that's a lot. I was expecting, like, less than. But 50? Hell yes, that's... That's, that's more than enough to put him just right in my uh, my main group now. <laughs> All right, so Gallum and Link, I can't I can't even begin to I'm not even bother questioning them. Lone probably won't. Riker probably won't either. But let's try it. Hey! All right, so they're on our side. Let's search. Pale Moon. Alright, this is Senna's sister. So all you- Oh, you, you finally got Alex to join us. Okay. Mazel Tov, I guess. Senna, keep finding just stuff. For being blind, half blind. You're finding every damn thing on the planet. <laughs> oh, that that's actually uh, a, a big story thing is because uh, Senna and Manoa both have very weak eyesight, which is why their their profile pictures have them with their eyes closed, because they have very weak eyesight. I'm not entirely sure. I think that's in the, the, the English manual, but yeah, you're worse than the phone company. How does Legendra have phones? See, that's one of the things that I guarantee you was not actually a part of the the game. Hey, we get Randolph! Because I need more people. Actually, I kind of do. I, I do need people to make sure I have warm bodies in my not-border castles. And I'm getting more, so I'm going to send them north. That's where they're going to go. I'm um, Gillette, take me to your leader. I'm the leader! Durr. Okay, no. Find me items. I don't need people at this point. Alright, let's save. And let's leave. And we're going to go back out and cause some problems. So I've got one group going after... One of Trandor's castles. Alright, um, I've got more people than I can deal with inside that castle. That's just peachy, isn't it? Alright, I'm going to just send some of these people who I'm not going to use. Randolph. Uh, Riker I might actually use. Ishtar. You're gonna go up there. Riker's probably going to be my warm body for the time being. And hey look, random skull children. Yeah, there's no way that group can last, so... No, I want to send everyone. I'm just going to get them out of the way. Because I was not expecting the skull children to appear there. And who's in that castle? A bunch of people with ten. Alright, um... Durin, you're gonna do something a little more important. You're gonna go... Uh, come on. There we go. 
you're gonna go over there, and you're gonna help deal with a impending attack of dumbass skull children. Alright, um... Terrace, you are going to switch to cavalry. Everyone else is going to recruit cavalry, basically. Alright, so I've got more than enough for this group. Alright, we are going to send our new force. Junin. Terrence. Scar. Vlad. And... Arios. Uh, right now Riker will stay. And we're gonna go... We're gonna go here. We're gonna take this one over. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna send a couple of these people. Army, Randolph, you're gonna go down here. In fact, I think you're gonna go down here as well. Actually, no, you're gonna go back here, because Gillette, you're kinda useless, so you're gonna stay here, and then my other three people are going to go and uh, continue on down there. And see, it's a good thing I did not go after that castle. The hell do you think you, you, you're you doing? Like, really? What? Alright, before they get back there, we're just gonna send them back to that castle to occupy that one. Actually, we're just gonna have all of these groups enter here. And... There we go. Skull children are going to die. In fact, I may just leave this group of people to deal with Skull Children. I might just kind of put them out to be uh, a kind of a floating defense. That actually seems like a really good idea. I think, I think that's... Because I'm not using Ramsel as much as I usually do, and so he's kind of underleveled. So I'm thinking that I might... I might put a third person in there until I have more than 30 troops on uh, all of them, but this is this is actually pretty good. I think this will do well. Ramsel and Durin will just be in random castles, and I will deploy them as needed to deal with Skull Children, because I hate Skull Children. I understand their premise. They want to make sure, you know... Your monarch's leveled so that you don't try to beat the game with a level 1 monarch. But still, it's a pain in the ass, is what it is. Because no one cares about these guys. Look, look at he's a thief. Which means at later levels, once he actually levels up, the only ability he's going to have is Shiva's Dagger, which it'll take out some troops, and it'll delay me from using my special attack. But they have no defense. They have next to no HP. I mean, look at that. I could probably send Ramsel back out after the other one if it weren't for the fact that I've already used my MP on him. And we'll send Durin. He's got four MP, so I can do Sonic Boom twice. Yeah, I just... What? No, no, no. Alright, what do we got? You're gonna use special formation, because that's all you use. That's all the Skull Children ever use. So we're gonna just stand by, as normal, and... He has 4 MP. But I don't think he has an ability. I've got an ability! Alright, took out three right off the bat, did a fair chunk of damage. I'm okay with that. And, again, first strike is a thing, because look at us, we're, both troop types are essentially balanced. We have no definitive advantage because we're not in a castle. So, yeah. Even when outnumbered, if you play tactically smart, 
you will win. This is one of those games that just got me into tactics. Like, I want to do... Like, I played tactical strategy games before, like Shining Force 2, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, things like that. But this is one of those, like, I, I can just completely abuse military tactics. <laughs> so, yeah. I really wish there was a... I, I would... I would kill to have this and Dragon Force 2 released as a compilation. Like, I don't even care if it's HD, just, like, pretty up the resolution a little bit. You don't have to do much, just bring the PS2 version of this game over, and just, I, I even keep the, the, uh, the, the, the resolution, and just keep everything the way it, it is, and I would, I would be so happy. Alright, I'm gonna take away Ishtar's troops and give them to Randolph, because that, that gives me a lot of cavalry for this one castle. Look, that's a, almost a secondary group by itself. So, yeah. And Junin's army is storming a castle. Who are we beating up on today? Spread the word to all the troops. We're flying the victory banner. Um, oh, damn, there's only one person here? This is a ridiculous amount of overkill. Alright, who's what level? Terrace? You're level 5. You're level 4. You need to level up. Uh, what level? Vlad's level. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're gonna send, we're gonna send Terrace. Because 40 cavalry versus 40 soldiers, I'll win this one. I should have sent, uh, uh, Gullen. The, the one with the full face helmet, the, the big, uh, he looks like the Black Knight from Monty Python. Uh, cause he and Rudger have a connection. I don't know what the connection is. I think Gullen might be Rudger's father? I've never been able to find a definitive answer on it because I don't think it actually exists. It just uh, I have the the Japanese strategy guide for this game, and it's really neat. Uh, let's see, dark. Yeah, we'll try. I, I don't really use dark vortex often, but here it goes. It's going to open up in the middle, and it's going to suck people in. And it sucked in a few, and the only downside is now I've got people completely wrapped around me, so Terrace is going to take a little bit of a beating. Uh, there we go. And... Yeah, Terrace is going to... Terrace is going to take a lot of a... Damn it, Terrace. Terrace is dead. Because that'll... That'll kill her. Damn it, Terrace! You just—you're ha so useless with your HP. You should have survived that. All right, so Terrace has sustained injury. That means she is actually going to be useless from here on out until she recovers from the hospital. So I will send Junin out to clean up Rudger, and then I'll just still go ahead and give a medal to Terrace so that you know something good comes from it. So pissed off right now, <laughs> cause that's that that's some that's some Keystone Capers type shit right there. Like that. If Terrace did not suck so much, melee, I need to give her an item that will help increase her defense. I don't know what she can wear that can increase defense, but I will need to find something. It's like I took a, a very unnecessary loss there. Alright. And I'm not going to let him escape. I'm going to... Oh no, he's going to escape anyway. I was going to wait for him to get into the red and fire flame cannon like he just did to Terrace. You twat. Alright, well, hey, we... 
We got Terra, or we got Rudger, we captured him. Terrace is injured, so she's going to be in the hospital from for a domestic affairs period. So, we are short a general here. And, yeah, that's, that kind of sucks, kind of pisses me off. But, you know, it happens. Not a fan of it. And we'll get into another fight before this this episode is over with these guys. I don't even know who's in this group anymore. It's going to be a surprise. Traven Castle's been attacked. All right. Time for valor comes again. Oh, it's just two of you. Pfft. Soldiers and monks. All right. Monks, I actually think, are pretty good against cavalry. So... Probably not the best... group of people that I've got? <laughs> we'll send Gustav, just because I haven't used him. I'll use Gullen. And just hope that I can deal with that. Face it, you're a loser. Yeah, I'm pretty sure monks are actually strong against cavalry. I have to find that out. It's also really fun watching these fights after seeing, like, my hundred harpies. Seeing, like, how massive the fights can be and then going back to this. It's... I, I just... I get a kick out of it. Alright, Gustav has no abilities. This is why I don't really use Gustav. So he's going to have to win this strictly on his own merit. Oh, damn it. That's... That sucked. But he can only use that once, because it's 3 MP. Or he can only use any ability once, because he only has 3 MP. So... I think the only thing you can that costs 1 MP is Ensnare which is one of Vlad's abilities, and I don't know if he has that yet or not. We'll find out, though. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to get attacked in that castle at some point by Wind's forces trying to reclaim it. Alright, take him down a little bit farther. That way, if I have to duel him, I'm not concerned. I'd love to not die in a duel that I have no business losing to, because that just seems to be what's happening to me today. Actually not. Like, I'm not doing too bad. I have I actually have more losses now than I have in a long time playing this. But it's partly because I'm I'm cocky. I'm just like, oh, I can handle this. Pfft, nope, nope, not gonna happen. All right, so we capture Gunter. Thirty monk versus fifty cavalry. I think is gonna be our best bet. And we've got a 25% terrain bonus, so hopefully the numbers are on our side. If not, I'll have another loss, because I will just have to run away with Gullen. Because, you know, planning is a thing. Ah, son of a bitch, and you're using raid formation? Alright, um... Offense, advance, and... Livian, look at how much MP he's got. He's got seven freaking MP. That's a bit overkill. And all I've got is Cross Flash. Oh well, this will help out a little bit. Damage is never a bad thing. Yeah. Monks are good against cavalry. You've got Cross Flash too. So yeah, I'm going to have to take out as many of his troops with this group as possible. And not doing too bad. 10 to 19. See if he melees me. And, uh, yep, he's going to melee me. And what? <laughs> what was that? Melee, retreat! That was stupid. He probably realized that he would not have won. 
a uh, a duel, which would have been what it came down to. Just hands down. It's out. Gullen... Gullen is now a paladin and got Sonic Wave. That would have been useful earlier. Alright, so... Let's recruit some people so that I'm not completely devoid of troops. And speaking of recruiting people for not being completely devoid of troops... Alright, I'm going to send my... I'm going to send these three... Gustav will be the new leader because he has no abilities and I don't feel like leveling him up because it's a little late for that. It's actually not late for that. I have plenty of time for that. Alright, who are you? Alright, so I'm going to start sending people south as I take over these castles. So I'm going to wait for domestic affairs. This will be a little long, but I don't really have much else going on in this video other than the fights that we just did. And who are you? Oh, they're beefing up defense there. Yeah, they're beefing up some defense, so... And I love... Castles will just randomly level up, which is always fantastic. Alright, so, let's see what happens. Public support index. I have to use it. I really should just go ahead and give myself that dragon crest and use these for that. Gullen, Durin, Gustav, Ramsel. All right. Uh, so seven losses again. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I will see you guys in the next installment. So till then, later, everyone.